Hello everyone, Think and Grow Rich here. Today I'm showing you how to get high click-through rates on your ads. So, when you're starting out with Facebook ads, you're going to have to experiment a lot with um, different copy images and landing pages and also texts to see what's working well for you. So, as you can see here, these are my results for today. Actually, I didn't optimize it that much at all. I just left it running. I've got about 10 or so campaigns. I mean, uh, ad sets running in here. So I didn't actually try to optimize it a lot. I just left it running from it from yesterday, where I spent about 16. And so I, I just left it running because it was doing all right. So let's see what I got. So on, on the clicks itself, I got about 7% click through rate. But these aren't all clicks. This count as like likes, uh, comments. These are basically just total clicks on the ad anywhere. For example, even if they try to expand the ad, that counts as a click. But what I'm interested in is the link click, click through rate. So the cost for those clicks is three cents, pay three cents per click. But um, the cost per link click is seven cents. That's overall from uh, reaching about, having about 9,600 impressions and there I got 3.27% click through rate. Now you have to remember that this is an overall from about 10 ads, which I'm about to show you. So it's probably like a few campaigns that weren't doing too well, and then a few that were doing well. So the overall is seven cents. This is an average of all your uh, cost per clicks. So I'm, I'm gonna show you a few tips on how to get low cost per clicks. So anything low would be like about five cents. Anything less than five cents is, is pretty good, um, depending on how long you run it for. And it also depends on the industry as well. For example, if you're targeting like uh, business owners, CEOs, and like a high valued city, like Hollywood or something, it's come up much higher. So now I'm gonna show you the ads that I've been running and which ones got low cost per click and which one got higher ones since it's taken average um let me show you here all right so as you can see here there's a lot going on there's about there's about 10 to 15 ad sets so i'm going to look through them to see which ones are doing well so that's the average 3.2 percent. As you can see, some here are doing are getting six percent, four percent. This one three percent. This one's five point six percent. So I'm guessing that USA is doing really well. UK is doing well. Um, I'm keep this. So yeah, it's mainly. It really depends on which country, because I'm targeting quite a few, a few countries. So with, with that said, not all of them will have, and here you can see, not, not every country will have um, the same click-through rate. <coughs> Scroll through here. Actually, do we have set up? I can't show both the countries and the click-through rates. I'll have to fix that for next time. I'm not sure all my software can't do it. But yeah, as you can see, it varies. So it does take the average of all, all of the click-through rates in order to decide what's doing well. See, this one's doing really bad. It's a one and a half percent. No idea why. How much did I spend? I only spent 80 cents on that one. So that's probably why. Uh, that one, that one's for UK. UK is for some shoes. So if I were to optimize it, I'd try and double down on this one here. I'll double down on this one. These are both USA, so I'm quite surprised. This one is uh, Singapore. And we've got Japan here, which is too, not too bad. We got some orders from Japan yesterday, so it's not too surprising. And I only spent about $2 on it. $2 on Japan. All right, so let, let's look, look at the highest one. This is the highest one here. 6% click-through rate. This is this is just for today. I'm not, I'm not showing you any of my old ads. 
Um, I mean, I would normally, but I just want to show you like life, what I'm getting a day to day. So I'm not going to try and pick and choose and add that I've got like 15% click through rate or 10%. Might as well be realistic and show you what I actually got today. I mean, I literally just logged into it today. This is the first time seeing it myself. So I'm not trying to manipulate you into thinking that I'm always getting amazing click through rates. All right, so I'm going to click on this one now. I'm going to show you what the ad looks like. And I'm going to tell you the, what matters when you are making an ad. All right. Give it a second to load. Um, it's not coming up for some reason. Actually, it's this one here. There we go. This one right here. 6% clicks rate. Pause these here, but I actually disabled that one. So let's see what's going on. So this is what the ad looks like. It's for a, it's for a jumper. So this is the ad. This is the one that I made. And as you can see, the, the first step to making sure it looks good is, um, so the first step is this top top part over here where you write your copy. You have to make sure that that's really appealing. So as you can see, I made it. I made I wrote New Year collection since it's just. New Year's just begun, so it's probably more appealing than writing oh, a new collection rather than right, New Year or during Christmas or Easter. Just put in the time frame and a free worldwide shipping, and then use this for a discount code on all of our apparel. So that's the first step is making sure you nail this, make sure you change around every now and then. If you're seeing a low click through rates, you probably have to change it around to see what's working. You can use Ad Express to test a lot of ads, but it's up to you what you want to do. Uh, I got this one on my first go. I mean, I've, I've been doing ads for this for a long time. That's probably why I've nailed down the copy for it. And then here, see, so the first thing people normally read is they'll look at the image and then they'll read this here. So if this thing claim your 20% discount, then they definitely want to get their hands on that. So. This, this is the second part of getting your ad right, and that would be your image. So yeah, as you can see, this is a very high quality image. It's made by professional photographers. Everything is high quality. Um, it's a model in the picture as well. So you want to make sure you have really good images. Don't add any text to them. If you do, use use the Facebook tool, text overlay to check if it's going to be good. And they will, and they will approve it. So claim your 20% discount today. That's the third part. So that's one, two, and three. Make sure this this is the hook. So you have to make sure that it really hooks them in. If, imagine that that's the first thing you read. Would you click on it or not? To claim a 20% discount. So you got to ask yourself that. And then this is the fourth part. This little text description here. I find with one of my other ads, giving a detailed description of the product works well. I'll, sh I'll probably show you that now or in another video. On how, on this part here, you want to give um, detailed descriptions of what the product is made of, the quality of it. Or well, maybe this is just with clothing, since I'm advertising clothing. But I'll, I'll show you that in another video. It was, it was a really successful ad. I'm surprised that it worked out well. Um, and then the fifth part is your button. So make sure you're using the right button. You wouldn't write like learn more here or download. You put something relevant like shop now. So people can get get to it. Facebook also started a new way to make Facebook posts, which is to make offers. I'm not going to go into that now, but literally just by Facebook post, uh, post, you can instead of creating non post, you can create an offer, and then it would say here, get offer, and then on the side it would say, oh, um, ten people got the offer. If ten people got it, or twenty people got it, something like that. And then just make sure your display link is decent as well. You don't have a really long link, it's got to look professional. That's my display link. All right. So, yeah, you can add a little bit more. You don't have to worry about what Facebook tells you here when it highlights it. You can add like, 
think a couple of lines. They probably just don't recommend adding a lot, but you can add as much as you want. Add a brief. Yeah, yeah, I think this is because it won't show up the same on other platforms. Let me show you. Um, okay, that's two, three, four. Okay, it looks fine. But it doesn't show up on Instagram. I uh, see it doesn't show up there, that's why. That's probably why I didn't recommend adding this part here. But to be honest, I don't really care about the audience, net audience network panel. I don't think anyone ever clicks on here to buy it. That part here works fine there. And there. So make sure you check your ad previews to see what it looks like. But if, it's, if it looks bad on the audience network panel, then it doesn't really matter. As long as it looks good on Instagram and Facebook. And on the, on, on, on the right column. And the future phone. And the mobile uh, newsfeed. Make sure it looks good on that. So this one looks really good on the mobile newsfeed. So that's mainly how you get high click through rates. Just make sure your ad is really good. And you target the right people. So one is the ad. Second is targeting. So in this video I've only covered uh, making the ad part. In another video I'll cover how to do proper targeting because targeting matters a lot as well if you, if you target a fresh new ad um you, you might get like three percent two three percent but if you're going to target a custom audience and retarget them you can get up to ten percent click through rate if you're doing it right so it really depends on you on your audience too so this is just a normal audience on my retargeting audience i can get up to like six percent seven percent depending on my ad so just make sure you have a compelling hook, super high quality image, the relevant button, a clean display link. Don't have a long link, so have it nice and clean. Don't make this look spammy. Just make it look a professional. Add your, um, your offers in here. Give them a discount code if they can get one. Um, tell them exactly what they're getting. So just for an advanced collection. New Year collection in stock, getting free shipping. So that's pretty pretty much all there is to it. And also test a lot. Make sure you're always testing, always test different images. I've tested over 100 images on here, so that's why I know that this one works really well. I'm always testing different images. Also, find if you want to test for a campaign. Let me show you. Um, for this one here, Levi's jeans. Just for if you want to get an even distribution, make sure you have two ads here. I don't have like five or six because Facebook will only give it to one. So I found that having two here will give them a nice even distribution. Well, it's not that even, but it's pretty good because normally it will just be zero here and it would have like a hundred clicks there. So to get a nice even distribution. Make sure, yeah, I think two ads will be good. And if you want, if you want to test all the images, just create a new ad set. It's that simple. If you added five in there, Facebook will just um, use one of them, which they think is the best one, and then the other four will literally be doing nothing. So, so two ads per ad set. And that's all I have for today. I'll be finishing. I'll make more videos soon.